wanted to start with an introduction. I'm Jose Bandes. Had I been here two years ago, I would have said I'm Jose Bandes. I'm with CNN. I'm conquering the world. I'm trying to take over Latin America. I'm taking over Europe. But today I tell you I'm Jose Bandes, slightly overweight, Middle Eastern background family from Nicaragua, a Mex neighbor. I'm a loving guy, and that's who I am. Life has changed quite a bit. So you know how you guys hear about the aha moments that everybody has. Um, I was about to get on a plane last year to go to New York, uh, again, to conquer the world. And I thought I had pneumonia. You know, I said, OK, I don't have time for this. I need antibiotics. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. The, uh, the pulmonologist sent me to a cardiologist who said, whoops, you have an aneurysm. You need open heart right away. So that night, I got taken in. I was going to either get operated that night or next morning. That's how important it was. So that moment in my life, things changed for me. Um, I realized three things while I was waiting at that hospital for them to see if they had the replacement aorta valve for my blood work, for everything else. Um, three things resonated. The first one, why did I, did I spend so much time at work? Why did I have those 80-hour work weeks? What did that lead me to? Number two, it had been years since I thought of my happiness. I couldn't understand, I forgot that. I, it hadn't been since my 20s that I thought about my happiness. It was all about being productive and getting ahead. And last but not least, why didn't I see my family and friends often enough? I was so self-absorbed and so in my own world that I didn't realize what was going on. So I'm going to tell you guys, I've had many things happen to me, but this open heart surgery was the best thing that ever happened. Um, even if I live five more years, I would say, well, I'm going to live a lot, but I'm just saying, joking around and just saying five years, there are five years that I've, I'm living awake, self-aware, fulfilled, and looking for my future, for my happiness. And it's all a big part leaving corporate America and doing what I want. It took me a lot of introspection to come to this realization. A lot of, you know, loss and mourning, uh, mourning my former self, which wasn't that great, mourning the loss of corporate America, mourning that big income, mourning so many things, but looking for my future. And I saw Meg one day, and she had given me her first book, and I was very honest with her. I, I can just, you know, that's how I am. I said, Meg, I hadn't read your book, and this morning I was depressed. I couldn't sleep. At 4 a.m. I woke up and started flicking through it, and I almost finished it. <laughs> and of course, as kind as she is, she was happy to hear it, but believe it or not, that's one of the reasons I'm here. She made a difference. She really did. That, a lot of therapy, a lot of pills. <laughs> no, but really. Um, it was a long journey to get here, and it took me about a year. And the outcome is this. I would not go back to corporate America if you paid me because of the fact that I want to follow my dreams. And if you would have told me that two years ago, I would have said, are you crazy? You want that bonus. You want that investment. You want this. You want that. You want those shoes. No, 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 no. It's all going to come after you follow what you want. So my outcome is this. It's three passions. I am, of course, in advertising a little bit. I'm going to work for another news corporation, helping them develop their digital market in Latin America. Big difference under my terms. I'm going to work for them 20 hours a week, create strategy. I'm not staying late hours in the office. See you guys. Secretary hours, kind of. No pun to secretaries are wonderful. Um, my second passion, real estate. I just got my license. I used to make fun of realtors. I have a lot of friends that are realtors, but. I got my real estate license because of the fact that I love architecture, I love people, I love finding correct fits for people with their homes. And last but not least, art. I never thought I would say this, but I finally can work with art. I'm creating a website to represent three artists. And that's so thrilling, you guys, because I never thought I could do things that I like. I can actually wake up and be happy, have a day to myself at the beach, um, relax, be with my friends, have time for me. Most importantly, get to know myself, which I hadn't done, and I'm 44 years old. Had I passed away last year, I was 42 and a half when, I, when that happened. So had I passed away, I would never have had this happiness and this internal bliss that I have. My message to you guys is just very succinct. Don't wait for an event like mine to happen to you. Look for your own happiness, whether it's, I, you know, a lot of you have kids, a lot of financial pressures. Even if it's five minutes every day, look and see what you want, what your passions are. See how you can make them work with your daily job, how you can transform that. And last but not least, don't fall into the mistakes that we all fall in, you know, society roles that we have to work nine to five or what our parents expect, what we should do. Be happy, get to know yourself, take that journey without having anything that is this life 
changing as what I had. Start it now, find your happiness, and I promise you, it follows. Just like Meg's book says, it's a bliss. Thank you guys so much. Happy to be here. <laughs>